do you charge for dump runs? That's on today's episode of The Handyman Journey. Let's get into it. Hey friends, Alan Lee here with The Handyman Journey here in Sacramento, California. And our sole mission at The Handyman Journey is to bring hope. We are dedicated to helping people just like you start up a new handyman business or take their current handyman business to the next level. So today we're gonna be talking about dump runs and how to charge for dump runs. Um, If you have been in the home improvement industry for a while, there you know that there's always trash, there's always stuff to get rid of. I'm on my way to the dump right now and I wanna talk a little bit about how I charge for dump runs, um, how I kind of factor in the whole trash situation into my estimates. So for every, for every job, like even if there's something really small, even just a trash bag or something like that to get rid of, I try and charge an applicable uh, dump fee. And this may not be, may not be easy for every single job, but um, you can definitely make it worthwhile on jobs like fence jobs or door jobs or things that, you know, drywall jobs, things that have trash laying around. Um, What I usually, as a rule of reference, I have an F-150. So I try and charge $50 uh, for a full full truck. When you go to the dump, that's somewhere around $25, $30. Here in California, it may range where you're at. So uh, keep that in mind that prices, you know, differ all around the world. Um, So if I'm I'm doing a job that's maybe just gonna have a few trash bags, it's not gonna take up the whole back of my truck. Maybe I'll charge them 10 bucks or 20 bucks for a dump fee. Um, but I basically want, whenever I have a full truck, I want to be able to have $50 of dump fees in the estimates of the stuff that's in the back of my truck. So if that makes sense, that's kind of how I estimate how much to charge for dump fees. You definitely should charge for dump fees. I know a few guys that, uh, you know, they just, they don't take any trash and they basically have, uh, people that they refer to or dump people that have dump trailers that they, you know, call up and say, hey, I got a, I got a bunch of trash in front of this house, come by, pick it up, and then they bill them later. That would be the way to go. If you could set something like that up, that would be awesome. Um, but then there's still those questions of, you know, the small things, right? Like what happens if you replace a kitchen faucet and all you have is a kitchen faucet? Sometimes you can, you know, ask the client if you can dispose of that in their garbage. Um, that's fine with small stuff, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it with big stuff. Um, it's not very professional to, you know, dump a whole bunch and fill up someone's garbage with, you know, debris that you had from the job that you were doing. So that's just my little tidbit. I always, um, you know, charge about 50 bucks for a truck full. I don't really have a dump trailer or anything like that. So I can't really speak to that, but I think it's important to make sure that in the jobs that you do, you are, um, you are allocating for the trash that will inevitably be there. So hope that helped you guys a little bit. I'm about to get rid of this stuff at the dump here. Uh, Again, this is Alan Lee with The Handyman Journey. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you're working on today and also the thoughts on this video. Have a great day, guys, and keep on keeping on. We'll see you on the next one.